now that we have covered all of the lectures regarding ticketing systems and we understand what ticketing system is, what ticketing system software is and how it works, let's start with a demo. A demo that is going to be practical but unfortunately you won't be able to do the same demo. So I'm not going to spend too much time on this ticketing system. So the first ticketing system I would like to share is ServiceNow. But before I do that you can see when, when, when was my last video created on ServiceNow? Now remember we do not get paid by them, we're not sponsored by them, it's just a good ticketing system and a lot of people will ask you something if they ask you about ticketing system and if you say yes I have done some training on ServiceNow, I have watched all the videos, then my recommendation for you will be this. If you want to learn more in detail, then go to ServiceNow YouTube channel, search ServiceNow videos, there's tons of videos on this ServiceNow ticketing system. I'm just adding a demo in here just to make it sound a little simple because a lot of people may get confused that when people saw see some of the videos that are about service now they're very detailed and i want to remind people that if you're level one nobody expects you to know this much details about ticketing system so don't worry too much regarding this uh learning so this is how it looks now if you watch my older video uh it's uh, very much changed from the the 2013 as you can see so many years went by i feel so old right now and you can see right now that the ticketing system service now the incident management side looks like this now of course if i take you to the what they the what they offer it's just going to you're going to lose your probably your mind because there's too much going on but as a technician most likely you're going to be in the incident module where you will see that your users will have a portal like this they will be given something like this and maybe you will also have this uh, link on your desktop and they will tell you that, okay, this is the portal that people are using in our company. They go and open this up. So what I want you to do is to make yourself familiar with this portal because this is where you may get a call. People may call you regarding how do I search this or that or where's the knowledge base, where can I get help or somebody new joins your company, then maybe they will ask you, can you train this person on the portal side because this person needs to know how to submit a ticket. So then you need to come to the portal first. So you should see what the users are seeing because that's where things get started, right? And then you should also then, of course, get get yourself familiar with the back end, which is going to be the, the, the technician side. Now, like I said, you don't have access to this. So we're just going to kind of like play around with this. Right now, you see this is a portal which users can see. They can come in here and type something like, I need help with password. So if I do that, you see that all the articles that are created by your, the system will show up over here. Now, who creates these type of articles? You can see they call it Article KB. Now, Knowledge Base. Now, this is someone you. Maybe you will be assigned this call that can you go and create a documentation for our users and, you know, show them how to create everything uh, about certain things like mobile device. A lot of people will call say, hey, can I have the document for, uh, you know, adding my email? Uh, maybe some people are technical. They just they just want to uh, see the documentation or maybe someone will say, oh, I was told to. Uh, go and ask the help desk team for specific application documentation so I can create certain things, whatever it is, right? So you will have that documentation available. If not, then they will be also asking you to can you create documentation. Now, the later on when we talk about Spiceworks, because those are the ticketing system that we can install and play around with, we will do documentation more in that. Of course, this one we don't want to waste too much time. Like I said, you can go to online and find a lot of information about ServiceNow. So the documentation look like this and this of course it will say the author has been created by this and they will also have certain things like this was helpful not helpful they may write the articles and things like that so let's go back this is uh, almost a uh, very uh, you know normal feature in every ticketing system but the most important feature that people are going to be using ticketing system is not for just documentation yes that's a good feature out there we know that but it's going to be they're having an issue they're just going to say okay i'm i need something i need something you know i'm just going to go ahead and, and click and uh, click on it and report uh, an incident or create an incident i need to ask something so basically they will say okay create an incident rec record to report and request assistance with an issue you're having so you can click on view details and then it will tell you, okay, create an incident right here. So this is what I was talking about. Somebody also designed this form 
that based on how your business works because they may want to show a lot of information in the first page or they may not want to show that and may just want to just get people started quickly so they don't get confused so maybe this is a hot, urgent issue uh, you know and let's say this person keyboard is not working of course this person needs to work uh, my keyboard is not working I need a keyboard whatever you know I'm just typing things in there so you can see as soon as I type that there are certain things that will come up based on how your ticketing system is designed of course people are not going to be in most of the companies when you work with them they don't just allow this you know search results just come up and they're going to order things like that that doesn't work that way in most of the companies now most of the companies that you're going to be working for they will probably have some type of request management they will send an email out or they may train people on how to order things and there will be finance involved and managers approval involved and there are more to it so yes this is going to help the search side may help depending on how big this company is and how rich your documentation is so of course this is where things can get a little easier but most of the people they will may have issue and they just want someone to help them so they're going to submit this incident so as we did now i'm actually using a same administrator account of course this is going to be a user who's going to be submitting the ticket so but it, it doesn't matter in this case it's almost the same thing so as you can see the whole thing started right it, it have this incident number created remember in my lecture we all talked about it we, we know what this incident number is every ticketing system will have some type of number ticket number they call it incident number and it's new uh, priority moderate uh, just now i actually changed this i don't know maybe i didn't corrected it correctly but they will have a attachment in here and of course depending on what type of features you want to add you can add more features into it so this is this is the normal process of how the ticket is started right now so it started they can send a message i forgot to add so they can add another message into this whole flow of what's going on so when a user submit that issue or request then what happens after that is the incident is created right there the incident number is created this is the same number and then you will see this sometimes depending on how you want to make your dashboard look like sometimes manager will make you open the same dashboard for our department so then you can come in the morning and the first thing you open up oh we got critical 17 tickets and we got 15 assigned we got some overdue let's go ahead and figure these out right here so if you click on it it's going to take you to the overdue incidents and this the reporting piece is mostly for like you know manager and but also you maybe also come over here and say okay we got some work to do over here you never want to make your tickets do most of the tickets if it's overdue like that and there are so many tickets open and there's so many unassigned that that means somebody's not using the ticketing system and then of course that's a problem area right there so a lot of people will come in and the first thing they will do is to prioritize they're, they're going to have to know which ticket is more important than others so when when they come over here and they look at the basically the the open and unassigned tickets they're going to have to come and see okay we which ones are the more critical one so the first thing is like okay we got three ones now do remember that when you are uh, looking at the ticketing system some people will just say i need that software and this may not be a critical call at all it's just users are so used to huh, i want to make this critical this is a little problem of educating in their own users maybe somebody didn't do a good job of telling people how you should prioritize don't just put one out there this is going to disrupt the whole flow for our technicians they're going to drop everything and they'll say okay what's so critical and they'll look at your ticket and they'll say oh they just need the software like in three days and why did they make it critical that would be a problem right then they, they will need to do some education for their own users so that doesn't mean that you're going to start running around you should really look into the ticket what is saying basically so for that of course you look at the description but you have to actually open the ticket so then how do you open a ticket let's go back to our latest ticket which is right here so you'll just need to click on it and now you see you're in that ticket so this is where when we were talking about the whole lecture and you did an education on how to find out who is going to be responsible all that stuff is more of like you need to learn about the company but here you go this is your area where you just need to come over here and make sure that maybe you need to categorize this 
a little better. So a user will not know if this is a hardware or network database. They may, some people may know this stuff uh, as well, but most likely they're just going to use a generic whatever things is available to them. But then maybe you need to come over here. Okay, they need a, they need a hardware. So this is a keyboard. And then maybe they will say, okay, uh, the state of this is what in progress because I need to get that keyboard and I'm going to need to, maybe this is going to take me some time. So I'll just do a in progress because if I'm doing other tickets and this is not that important, maybe like after, let's say, 15, 20 minutes, I'm just going to go to the room, unbox a new keyboard if it's not unboxed. So that time that it's going to take, you just want to put it out there and put in progress in there. And then if if a user put a high, this may not be too high. This may be low. Or if it is high, that they totally the, the work is being stopped, then, of course, you're just going to keep it high because of that level. Now, priority, like I said, this is going to be based on, uh, you know, uh, how your your company has, uh, you know, uh, set up the priority level. So you may be able to do this from here or they may not be able to, you may not be able to change it because it's already done for you. So other things are, of course, you can add more description to it. You can assign it to somebody else. So you, if you have assignees, you're just going to come over here. Let's say, for example, Beth is the one that I need to assign this ticket to. You're just going to do that. Or if it's you, you're just going to assign it to yourself. And then, of course, there are work notes right here. You may want to add more work notes, uh, additional comment. You know, this is like customer visible. So you may want to add more stuff like here. And, of course, you see this is a whole uh, you know, update, resolve, delete is where you need to update stuff if there's a comment. Uh, now, related records is another thing. Sometimes what happens is that th this may be related to a different incident that's already been in this ticketing system or a problem if they have the ability to use problem and incident at the same time or they may use a change request or they may you know change the uh, the cause of change would be like you know changing something if you click on it they will have something like okay i needed to uh, this was the cause of the change because add a network switch to cabinet maybe this was that change that was required so you see there there are multiple things that can impact your ticket uh, when you close it so it could be just simple. You got the keyboard. Of course, you may not have to do none of this. And depending on how people are using their ticketing system, they may be very much very detailed about it or they may just want you to open the ticket, fix the ticket, close the ticket. So if it was just fixing and closing, you're just going to come to the resolution information and you're just going to put the resolution that it's resolved by this date, uh, by who, by did, but the date. And then, of course, you can add some more stuff if they want to, uh, if they want you to add that stuff. Like it's, you, you don't want to just close it they may say okay make sure it's closed permanently so if closed permanently then that would be you you fixed it solve remotely you know if this was a remote fix uh not solved too costly you know of course this is all company specific information so now of course i'm i'm putting done in there but that's not how a lot of people will like that you don't want to just put done to things but certain things are so specific so small that maybe there's nothing else you can put you just need to put something that you have done it. You went to the room, you, you replaced it. You replaced it is a better answer. But there could be certain things that may require you to put specific information and resolution. This is where people really hate in, in IT, like where somebody comes out here and they spend, let's say, three hours on fixing a problem, and then you just came back here and you just put done. And now the same issue happened again. You were sick or you went for a vacation, and the person uh, you know, told you now that, hey, another technician came in, he spent two hours, he did a lot of stuff here and there, and you're so happy, okay, at least this was fixed by that technician and it was done before so you came and you searched that incident and now you see that there's only done right so that's not going to be a good situation because that you didn't do a good job by putting a resolution so then you do update and then of course if you want to close it you close it but if you look at the ticket again it's assigned to beth and if we go back to our ticket here you can see if you refresh so things are getting changed right now you see how it's basically saying that beth on the top is the agent working on this incident and it's in progress and of course when you're done with everything you're going to come back and then actually close that ticket so this is how the whole process works but of course it's more than that you may just need to come back and uh, add some more information if it was in progress and you have to order something the ticketing system like i said could have many many different type of features so th this may take you to other things so sometimes what happens is that okay a user called you on the phone but that you're not going to go and open your own portal like this 
and you're going to create a ticket. That's going to create a ticket as you, right? And what would you do that? You have to just come into your portal and most likely you're just going to click on create new ticket. And you see it has a new number already assigned now. And you're going to basically see who's the caller. So most of the time we actually use this process because think about it, how many times you're going to get an email if that email was not automatically connected to your ticketing, how many times you're going to get a call, how many get a, times you're going to use some kind of chat system where you're going to get an issue. And now you need to create a ticket because you're working on it. You create the ticket and here you quickly put stuff in there, but at least you created a ticket. If it needs to be resolved after your resolution, you're going to put everything that was involved in that uh, fix. If it requires you to wait on something, then of course it's going to become just a normal process. So if you remember a, not a master tip, but an experience tip. So where do you really go and learn from the ticketing? Now, when you go to the resolve option, this is where when you close these tickets and somebody work on it, all of these tickets will show up right there. So if you're brand new, I highly recommend you go to the resolve section in your ticketing system, open that ticket, do not reopen it, or it's gonna generate an email or whatever it is, you know, don't try to do that. Just try to go and open the ticket itself, like what's going on with that ticket. By clicking on it, that doesn't mean the ticket is open, but do ask some people that, I don't know if they have made a, such a ticketing system, I don't know if you click on it, it will just open up. So make sure you know what, what you're doing. And then you just come to the resolutions and okay, okay, if this was an issue with a web server, then they assigned it to web development. If this was an issue with that application, they assigned it to that department so this is going to really really make uh, uh, really help you i've done that so throughout my career and that probably uh, is the best way without asking too many questions and of course i don't i don't discourage you from asking questions i'm just encouraging you on how to learn quickly in the company you should definitely go and ask questions if you don't know um so of course after that you have you will have your own ticketing system you will be given different type of you know uh, access to make sure you can uh, personalize the same ticketing system for yourself because it's all about you being you being kind of like you know productive with your own ticketing system so sometimes they will let you do your own customization for the dashboard okay i like to see my tickets first and on the side i want to see critical tickets or i want to see the whole dashboard so this is really up to the company how they do things and you know you will have that ability but again two three different things create a ticket assign a ticket find the groups who are the power users searching uh look, going for the resolve tickets and then if they have more advanced stuff just ask them nothing wrong with that so this is all about service now we're going to move into a different ticketing system after this hope you guys are liking this thank you